What's up guys, this is Indy. Welcome to the Coop. Today we're here with Julian Araujo from the LA Galaxy. Julian, why are we at Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A has a special place in my heart. <laughs> so today we're going to be driving around with Julian Araujo doing this thing we like to call the Crosstown Crossbar Challenge. We're going to be finding things that look like crossbars. Uh, first one to hit it gets a point. First one to three points wins. I'm, win. I'm, feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty confident I'm going to beat him. He's a little cocky. He's a Chick-fil-A in him. He's real hyped. But uh, yeah, it's going down. I'm putting on some soft little music, all right? For everybody out there, you know, <laughs> you don't know me. My name is Juno Rajo. I really love getting in my feels, all right? <laughs> Favorite type of music is feels music. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm playing some uh, Chris Brown for all you girls out there, all right? <laughs> Join the coop. All right, guys, so we just arrived at the first location, and we're gonna be shooting at a uh, swing set, the crossbar on a swing set, and first one to hit it gets a point, and then we move on to the next place, and let's see how it goes. Oh, ah! <laughs> that was so bad. Mine for show will be better than that. <laughs> Woo! That was so close. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. If it's the same thing, I'm done. I win. Oh. Crossbar, my first one. Still got it. <laughs> I remember my first crossbar challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna end this one quick for y'all. Taking down every pro. Watch out. Yep. That's what you <laughs> <laughs> better go get the ball. He better go get the ball. It's over, man. We got the first point. Let's go. Damn. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to keep my head up. All right. So we're here at our next spot now, and it's this art piece over here, this little installation. It's pretty much just a circle, and so it's the first one to shoot it through gets a point. First, Me? A little devastated right yeah, a little devastated already? Yeah, yeah, I caught you by surprise, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going first? Yeah. Okay. The first one left, the second one right, this last one's gonna, I don't even know. I'm gonna watch out for these cars over here. This is crazy. Damn it! <laughs> Let's go! 2-0. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to the next spot now, and I promise you guys, to all my fans, I will do better. I'm not gonna let you guys down. He's setting up the comeback is what he's saying. That's not gonna happen. The coop's about to do him down. Oh wow. He's setting up the comeback. That's not gonna happen. The coop's about to do him out. What's it been like getting to play with Ibra? Uh, honestly, man, it's a dream come true, you know? As a kid, I've been watching him on TV, mm -hmm. scoring all these amazing goals, and now I'm, I'm playing alongside with him. I'm right by his side. I see him every day in the locker room. I eat with him. Super hard on us, but it's all for the best of us, and uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's a dream come true. Is there anything like, you wouldn't have expected, like once meeting Ebro, like you wouldn't have expected him to be like this nice or this funny or anything like that? I wouldn't like have expected that. him to be that big. <laughs> big? Yeah, he's super strong. What up, we're at the next station and I'm gonna win. I feel very confident in myself and I'm not gonna let you guys down. Oh, I'm feeling real good, man, 2-0. All right, so we're at the next spot here for the Crosstown Crossbar Challenge. Obviously, I'm ahead. And we're trying to hit this banister rail over here See like the top part of it? I'm about to hit this tree. First try, let's go. Oh no. First try. Damn! Oh, how did you even put it lower than me? It's because I caught your vibe. You caught my vibe? Yeah. Right. The right vibe you catch is clearly not either of us. 
Yo, that would have hit. That would have been it. Second try. Oh, that was so close. I'm actually the best climber in the world. This is going to be easy. <laughs> Everybody, right here. I told you guys, I am not going to give up. Right? It's my first He's time. down. He's down. He's scared. Sorry, little girl. That was not it. That was not it. The replay? That was not it. Let's get the VAR going. Yo, yeah, it I'm has to film. go up though. What? What, what? what are you saying? How it's, a, it... it's a small crossbar. I'm pretty sure that hit. You can try and rebuttal, but I, I don't know. DJ, make it hot like. She was staring at me like, you got this. <laughs> Ooh! What? What? That was insane! Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Never give up, yeah. Julian somehow won that point. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the next one, and I'm gonna finish him off. It's two to one right now, and yeah, we're gonna head to the next next object. How you feeling? Never give up. <laughs> Never give up. Still sticking to it. Yep, Still sticking to it. What was it like growing up in Lompoc? You know, Lompoc's my city, man. I love Lompoc. I can't wait to be able to give back. Whatever I can do it, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Growing up is hard, but um, living in Lompoc has taught me a lot about life and mm -hmm. coming up from really not having a lot as much as other kids have. I mean, it's just taught me to keep grinding and grinding for what I got. And mm -hmm. what got me to this point was my hard work and my dedication, you know. And I feel like Lompoc has taught me that. And I feel like um, just growing up. Not really on my own, but growing up with my family and everything, they supported me through everything, but I feel like the streets of Lompoc has made me the man I am now, like the strong man I am now, the mentality that I have is because of Lompoc. Alright, so we're here now at our fourth location. Score's two to one. I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, how are you feeling about this next object? I feel pretty good, you know, I'm very confident. I feel like I might hit a car before the post, but it's not good. I think this is definitely our toughest one, so uh, let's see how it goes. There's so many more cars here than I thought, but uh, just uh, more, more spectators to see me do it. Oh no. Thankfully we have a block in the street. Oh, that was so close. Billy didn't even phase. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. I'm gonna need a leaf now. Oh no. Dude's on the phone over here. Good job. I'm mad at my word. I hit the car before the. So that makes the score two to two. Uh, so we have a final location we're gonna go to. Um, <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Julian's feeling real good, but you know I was just letting him come back just so I can do him, do him in the last one. All right, let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive he him. Goes straight, he goes straight to the driver's seat. He's like, you know, I'm driving after that shot. Yeah, I'm gonna drive him because I think he needs a little rest on his legs. Okay. So we'll see you guys at the next spot. All right, stay tuned. Hello, everybody. This is Julian Araujo. Welcome to the final challenge. It's two to two right now, and watch me take it off. Alright, so for our final challenge, someone's going to have to hit this limb of the tree. Uh, winner takes all. Uh, we obviously know who's going to win. And let's go! <laughs> Alright, Julian's done. It's two to two. Final challenge. First shot. That's all I need. One and done. Oh! Of course!
Come on back, I'll give you another try, man. I ain't even gonna see it. I don't even believe it. What, what is going on over here? Thank you so much for being on, Julian. As you heard, it's obviously not the last challenge we're going to do with Julian. Um, somehow pulled the win. I uh, don't know how. How do you feel about the win? Uh, you know, I'm uh, a little devastated, but <laughs> I'll come back stronger and I'm going to work on what I need to work on and I'll come back as a winner. Where can our fans catch you at, Julian? So, everybody, you guys can catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Julian underscore Rajo. Go get your tickets and come support Alley Galaxy.